Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was asking if anybody had this reef, so I started looking for it. I had this one, which would work. And I'm pretty proud of this one. I drew, uh, I don't know when, several times or several years ago. But this reef would be pretty easy to duplicate. I mean, it's 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 kind of a funny, you know, it looks like it, it gets smaller right in here and, you know, bigger. It's got a third leaf on the top. And I just thought, I'm going to just show them how to draw it real quick or something like this. I mean, they can, you can pick your own reef and draw your own subject. But I'm going to show you how I kind of drew this uh, just playing. I'm going to take the ellipse tool and not hold down the control button so it's uh, it's an oblong ellipse. And then I'm going to take that. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to mirror it the other way. And then I'm going to hold down the control button so it is even when I move it or start moving it. And, you know, something in the, that factor. Then go to weld. So you've already got kind of the leaf. Whoop, I don't know why I keep hitting the crop tool today. But then just take, and this is already a, a curve now. So we got a node right there. I'm going to take the shape tool. I'm going to double click there. I'm going to double click there. Now I have three nodes. And I'm going to click on that middle one. And I'm just going to kind of make a leaf shape. Well, what I'm going to call a leaf shape. You might not agree with that. But I'm just kind of going with the uh, drawing in hand. So let's go with something like that. The one I did is a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. Now, how would you do that again equally? Well, there's two ways. And my favorite way is to work, work in the middle of the page. I draw almost everything in the center of the page. And even though we didn't really need to make that shape, let's actually make that shape a little bit more pronounced like that. Now, there's two ways you could do this. One, control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it. Now you got that shape on both sides and you could cut out some inside factors and stuff like that. But the easiest thing I think to do is to take a two point line, draw a line, holding down the control button and see by chance I'm or perfect. I'm right in the middle. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete this half. You can actually delete this line now. And now, okay, my uh, handle was in the way, so I didn't see this. The other thing, so we're right in the half. Let's actually look at the bottom to make sure. We're pretty good, we're a little bit over. Take the pick tool. Take the zoom tool, take the virtual segment delete button and delete that side. We could have done that later. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to delete that now. Control D and make a duplicate. And while still holding down the control button, do that right there. Now, if they're not perfect, they're going to leak a little bit. So I always take a rectangle and put it around my item. Take the smart fill tool and fill that in and we have no leaks. Now, in the pattern, it's actually got a little bit of a twig to it, kind of a shape. So we're going to do that at this time. And I'm not saying that, you know, you have to pick this and use my way, but it just kind of gives you an idea. And then we don't have to do anything else to it. Now, what we do need to do is we need to figure out this circle. So I'm going to take the ellipse tool. I'm going to draw it in here and I'm going to move it. Well, I got really close. I'm going to make that yellow so maybe you can see it better on your screen. Then I'm going to take the zoom tool. I'm going to draw a line right there and draw a line at the bottom. What I'm doing is getting the width of that. You know, I'm a little bit off on the bottom of the circle. Now we can actually move this picture out of the way. Now I'm going to make this all red so you can see it better. 
and just take and cut this away with the virtual segment delete key. So now we have a path to put this on. Now we're going to take this item, Control-D and make a duplicate and move it over, straight over, don't really have to be perfect. And I'm going to grab those two items, go up to Effects and Blend. We're going to blend 10 times, hit Apply, go here to New Path, and then click on the path, and then blend along full path and rotate all items. Okay, one thing I did not do, I should have had, okay, I'm going to have to just back up here. I forgot one step. We need to make this one at pretty much of an angle that we're going to start with. So I'm going to go like right there. Now, I'm just going to move the path out of the way. Control D and make a duplicate and move it over. Grab those, apply, new path, put it on our path, blend along full path and rotate object. Now, what I do like about the blend tool, we could back up and go and go. Now we want 11 and go, let's go 13. And you would want to count if you're trying to duplicate this reef for real, you'd want the same amount of leaves on it. I think we could add one more and not overcrowd it. Let's add two more and see what happens. That looks pretty good. Now what you've got to do is select it all, go up to object and break the blend apart. And then if you want to get rid of your circle, then you just have the, the, the uh, leaves and then you could right click or left click, right click, and then make sure this is grouped together. So control G while holding down the control button, mirror this reef. I didn't control D evidently. And there you have a reef that quick. And I think it's, you know, by the time you find a reef on the, you know, and, and vectorize it, uh, you're not going to get the sharpness of a hand drawn, and I, mine looks like bombs now. But you know, you can you can use your imagination, and uh, you could actually probably trace one of these. You might have a better picture of it. You could trace one of these, and start like that. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.